AITA for getting annoyed at my SIL on a living of cancer and ruining my wedding? I don't intend for the title to be so harsh sounding, but I don't know how else to put it. I'll also sound blunt, but I'm just posting the facts as presented. I'm marrying my partner, A, who is from another country. Her sister, B, is on a living of cancer. It is heartbreaking, and she is a young mother and wife. Her diagnosis was about four years ago. When she was first diagnosed, she was given one to two years. Since we were in a different country, as she, B, remained in her home country with her family after her sister, A, immigrated, we saved up some money and traveled to say goodbye to her. It was about the 1.5 year mark when we went to say goodbye, and we had gotten engaged soon beforehand. So we also went over to visit some of the family and asked them how long they needed to save to come across for our wedding, as our dollar is much stronger than theirs. They said two years, so that was agreed. We spent a month with her, laughing, lamenting, spending as much quality time as possible with her. By the end of the trip though, and with the chemo, she was exhausted. We said our heart-breaking goodbyes, assuming to never see her again. And then she made a miraculous recovery, with a less than 1% chance of happening, which was awesome. We, along with her other family members who had also immigrated, such as her father and brother, decided to put money together and support her to move over here to spend the rest of her life with us. That was about a year ago. Now my partner and I are getting married in two weeks. All of her family are coming to visit. It's a big joyous occasion with lots of travel. We forked out thousands to help her family get here. And they're all staying for a month or so to celebrate our wedding and spend time with us. Two weeks ago, we got a bad diagnosis. They found lumps and they said she has about a year left to live. She, for obvious reasons, didn't handle this well and lashed out at us and our wedding telling us not to talk about it around her. My partner has always kind of lived in her older sister's shadow. So she was really excited to be celebrated and made a fuss up for once. But B has told everyone about her diagnosis and has started saying, this is the last time I will see most of you. Now the focus is completely off my partner and our wedding and is absolutely about B. I feel heartless and heartbroken, but I'm frustrated by this. She has been going out of her way to make sure the people who are coming across, who we have paid thousands for flights, not that it matters that much, are spending as much time with her as possible as this is the last time she will see them. Now this period of joy and celebration has an undeniable black cloud hung over it, and people very obviously have stopped making my partner feel special. On top of this, B has maintained her stance that we not talk about our wedding around her. But the big issue is that B got married during COVID, so never got a father-slash-daughter dance. She wants to have one at our wedding, after my partner has a father-slash-daughter dance, with her own song which, to be honest, is sad. I have said no, because my partner wanted to say no but felt too guilty, so I had to be the bad guy. I also told my partner that if we're not to talk about our wedding around her sister, then I don't want her sister talking about her unaliving around us. Now I'm being called a jerk. I do feel like one, but I also feel like this is grossly unfair to ask us to brush our wedding under the carpet because of this. Ida?